It's up to you guys today. Yeah. Aside from the, the daily improvement, is the goal for the rest of the year now to move up in the league standings and, and kind of make a run at that during the last during the last eight weeks? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, I don't want to put – we've never put too much emphasis on that, so I don't want to put a whole lot of emphasis okay. on it just yet. I still think we're – uh, really a work in progress, but absolutely. If, if you know, we had a list of four or five goals, I think moving up in the league standings would be one of those goals for sure. What do you see for the second half from the league? What, what would you like to do? Uh, yeah. uh, very specifically, I'd like to win games that we should win. I, th I, I, I just think that the last six games we've played, um, and, and I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that's, you know, the, the result is the result. We lost. But there were games that we had well in our control and we, we let get away, whether they were in our building or more so, I think three of them or four of them were in somebody else's building. And uh, I, th I think we need, to, we need to find a way to finish off games. Um, I think for the most part, our efforts been pretty consistent. Uh, now we need to execute in, in, in difficult times. I mean, we've got 2-1 lead, we've got one nothing lead, and it's just right now it's one play that – uh, ends up in our net, and, and we have to find a way not to let that happen. And you know, we've got 14 league games left, or something like that, and we have to find a way to to, to, to win the games that we are in control of. Um, and 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 then from the other side of that is the games that maybe we don't have our, our best effort. Find a way to, to 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 create something from that. You know, maybe the first period isn't great. Well, so far this year, if the first period isn't very good, the rest of the game isn't very good either. We have to find a way. Okay, the first period isn't good, so be it. Let's decompress and, and, and get refocused and makes period two and three good. Um, I, I just think we're, we're affected by too many things right now, whether it's a bad shift, a bad period, a bad game, uh, a, a, a bad play during a shift. Uh, I think we're getting affected by that too much. And we'll start with me. You know, that's fine. You know, I, I need to do a better job of staying more uh, even keel, and I'll start with me, and that's fine. And hopefully people will read off me um, through that. First closing games. Some teams can, some teams can't. Is it a matter of just making plays? Is it mental? Man, I wish I, I wish I had the answer to that. I, I, I really, really do. Um, we've seen different examples of, of us not being able to do it. I go back to Lake Superior games. I, let's go back to the RPI game where we score in late in late in the game, nine seconds to go in the game. We score to tie it up, and they score in the first shift of overtime on a, on a mental mistake. Then we go to both games in Lake Superior, one nothing leads going into the third. And never mind even going into the third, we couldn't find a way to get that second goal. We just could not. And then it came down to one mistake in the third, both nights ended up in our net. No big deal, but we couldn't get that second goal. Lost both games in shootouts. Had chances to get the second goal at 1-1. Then we come to Ohio State where we found a way to score that second goal the Friday night. We're up 2 nothing, and then one play sent us in, in, in the gutter, and, and, and we couldn't find a way to, 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 to regroup and gather ourselves. So it's been, it's been, it showed its head in so many different ways. I, I, the only thing I know is the more times you're in that position, the better off your chances are to execute and, and be successful while you're in those positions. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleep better at night believing that that's, that's true. No. <laughs> I hope that starts to happen uh, because it hasn't. I mean... You know, people have always said the more times you go to the national tournament, the better your chances are. I've never really felt like I bought into that because why? Why necessarily you couldn't go there one year and do well? Well, the, the, my experience is the better we did was the, 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 the fifth and sixth time we were there, you know, not the one through four. Well, here we are, a team that hasn't won a whole lot, especially together. We need to find a way to close out games. Well, we have to be in those situations more and more for us to know what buttons to push and what to do when we're in those situations. Because we can't simulate in practice. We just can't. Okay, you guys are up a goal. You guys are down a goal. Well, that, that's not like 2-1 to one against Ohio State with six minutes to go in the game or 2-1 to one against Princeton with nine minutes to go in the game. It, it's just not the same. So I, I believe, we believe, the more times we're in that position, the more prepared we're going to be to execute and be successful in those positions. So right now I think it's mental, it's physical, it's, you know, it's showing its head in different ways why we can't close those games out. Keeping in mind that you're allowed to change your mind, um, 
What do you see for McIntosh and uh, Shea position-wise, and how do you feel about what they've done um, so far? I, I still feel both of them bring something to their respective positions, new respective right. positions, that we were lacking. I think McIntosh is a guy that can really skate and has some offensive instincts yet can defend. Uh, and we, I don't think we had a defenseman that could really push the pace. And then, and then Bobby Shea, I, just, I don't think we're physical enough up front. I think we work hard. I just don't think we're very physical. Uh, at least in terms of impact, making an impact with that physical play. And I think Bobby can do that. And, and he's done it. He's getting it. And Bobby's got uh, better hands than people think. Uh, he made a great play to Wallace in the game against Princeton to put Wallace on a breakaway. I mean, he, he, I think he's got a chance. We think he's got a chance to be a pretty good, a pretty good forward. So as we are today, we stick with, with the plan. We do only have seven defensemen now with, with you know, uh, us losing one at Christmas time. So I wouldn't be shocked to see Bobby Shea play defense sometime in the second half just because uh, of numbers, uh, because we know he's somebody that can go back and play that position pretty easily. He, every day in practice right now, McIntosh is playing D, Shea is playing forward, and I see that being for the foreseeable future. Speaking of it, not necessarily individual players, but just the skill level overall, now that you've been here half the season, is it what you expected that it would be here? Uh, I think so, yeah, yeah. It needs to improve, but, but I think it's what I expected. You know, we, 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 need to, we need to improve our overall depth. So when this guy's not going, we can go to this guy. You know, we're, we, we, we haven't been able to do that. And um, that's what I, uh, you know, I say that's why we don't score enough, for example. That's why, you know, our, our power play isn't good enough, for example. Um, you know, I, I think our penalty kill would be nicer to have uh, seven or eight guys to choose from versus four or five. And I think that has something to do with our, our, our lack of being really good on the penalty kill, which I expect to be over, over time here. Um, it, it is what I thought it would be. These guys work harder than I thought I was walking into on a daily basis. I mean, that's an absolute fact. These guys, their work ethic for a team that's won seven games has been through what we've been through in terms of some ups and downs, especially over the last six games. They, they just come to work every day, and, and, and I'm very proud of them for that, and they should be proud of themselves. However, just working hard doesn't make you successful at the Division One level. I don't, and we didn't come here to be not successful. And I mean us, everybody, players, coaches, staff. Um, so I, I think the, 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 the work ethic is better. The skill level is what I expected. That needs to improve. We need to improve our level of, of skill, meaning guys that can execute and be intense at the same time. What makes, aside from Pat Nagel, what makes Ferris so good defensively? What do they do? You know, their, their system is a little bit different. They really, they're, they're a team that covers the points with their centermen. And, and I know that's something that's hard to, it's hard to think about, and hard to picture. Mm -hmm. They really pack it in there well. And their rink like this one, you know, it just seems small, you know, I mean, on the ice. Their rink, when you're there, it seems like a small place. It's the same regular size, but they're really hard to score on at home. And, and, and you know, they're, they're just generally a hard team to score on because of the way they pack it in their D zone. And they block a lot of shots. Uh, they, they, they sacrifice their body to block shots. And it's something that a Bob Daniels coach team has been known for. And, um, we're going to have to find a way whether it's throwing pucks off the end wall, whether it's keeping guys off to the side a little bit, one guy in front of the net and a guy off to the side to hit some cutters, that we're going to have to do a job with our defensemen of keeping their heads up at the point and finding people in front of the net and taking advantage of any chances we may get on the rush, whether it be a three-on-two, two-on-one, whatever. Opportunities off the rush are, are not easy. I mean, not something we've scored a whole bunch on this year, but we're going to have to, on a team that really plays well, and solid in their own zones. So offensive zone play could be nullified. Uh, we're gonna have to find a way to score other ways. And, and you know, obviously power play is one, but uh, there's other ways five on five to score, and we're gonna have to find ways to do it. They, I think it's their D zone play, Kevin, I do, and, and I do think it's their goaltending. This BG team uh, has some kids that can make adjustments on the fly. You talked about finding a way. You know, part way through this game, you may decide, hey, this is what we've got to do. Is yeah. that in your team? Uh, you know, I don't think we've proven it great, but I'm, I'm not sold we can't. You know, I don't, I don't think we have dumb hockey players or guys that, are, that, that can adjust. Um, they've always they've been very open to adjustments and, and, and things like that. And, um, you know, we'll have to, this is one weekend in particular that we're going to have to find a way to, we'll see what goes on Friday night and see what we can create. 
just by doing what we do. And if that's not good enough, then we're going to have to find other ways. But I think we'll be able to adjust to it. I really do. You know, I really do. We're, we're going to have to stay patient. Sometimes, in, in my experience, teams that I've been associated with, you get really frustrated because it's you're getting so many shots blocked and, 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 and not being able to create a whole lot of offense just because of the way they play. But, uh, uh, you know, we'll have to stay stay positive and stay, uh, stay resilient and stay relentless with it. And I, th I think we'll be fine that way. I, I don't... Uh, I don't question our, our ability to kind of uh, go with the flow, so to speak, and, and, and kind of take what the game gives us in terms of offense. Any injuries out of the tournament? Nope. We're, uh, you know, the, all the shoulder stuff seems to be working itself out. Bobby Shea tweaked his groin a little bit. I think he's doing great. Uh, and then Eno, a lot of people have asked about Eno. Um, he was ready to play the next night against Holy Cross had he, had he been called on. So he, uh, you know, all intentions are he goes Friday night. Anything else, guys? I'm good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.